Right. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Pilates class. We just finished with the power starter. Mm. Yeah, for the ones who don't know, we also offer this Pilates class on Tuesday night at 8 in the evening. If you think that this class on Friday is too early for you, or not the most convenient, you can always join us Tuesday night at 8. As always, minimum equipment required. Gonna do low impact exercises, mostly challenging for the core and abs. Uh, if you do Pilates regularly and you have maybe at home one of the Pilates ring, let me know in the comment section below. So then in the next classes in the coming weeks, I can also incorporate the ring in the exercises. Otherwise, let's just start by standing up, warming up the spine. Standing with the feet straight under your hips. Knees slightly bent. I'm gonna imagine I cut my body here on the chest in half, and then I'm gonna do small circles just with the upper body. To the back, to the side, to the front. Shoulders are rounding. Sideways, and back, and side. Let the neck follow the flow of the spine. Feet are grounded into the floor. Try not to move your pelvis and your waist. Really isolate the movement from this point in a minute. Last time. And then we reverse to the other side. Try not to break too much your neck when you go to the back. Just enough to bounce from the right to the left. Three more times. If you can, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Last one. From here, rounding up. And then back to the side. Bring your elbow up, other arm stretch. And change. Imagine your spine is like a flower on the field being blown away by the wind. So the ground is steady and strong. When the wind comes, everything bends to the side. The last two times. Ah, last one. Breathing in, spread your wings out, push the floors away from you. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, working together with the legs. Legs press down and arms to the side and neck up to the sky. So, Three opposite directions at the same time, sideways, down and up. Strong center. Last one. Hold it here. Rolling forward into your toes and up. Chin down. Back of the neck. Shooting straight up. Lock your elbows. Palms of the hand facing outside. Press the toes into the ground. Three, two, one, and relax down slowly. Shake off the arms. Legs a little bit wider than the hips. 
for squats. Going down, breathing in, arms forward and up, and again into your toes and down. Going down, arms forward and up, reach up with your fingers, press down with your arms. Three more times, breathing in, breathing out, press with your back. Still stretching up with the back of your neck. Two opposite directions. Toes in the ground. Head up. Last one. Breathing in. Hold it here. Slowly rolling the feet down. Bring again the feet under your hips. Just work on that posture. Shoulders to the back, chin in down, back of the neck is long. Shift your weight into your toes to the front. So I have about 70% of my weight on my toes, 30% on my heels. Now think about this stretch. Heels into the ground, head pulling up. Imagine someone is pulling your head up from the neck. Three, two, one, and uh, relax, back to neutral. Good. Then go into the floor, starting with our rolls up. Just like we did Tuesday, we're going to start with the arms above the head, breathing in through the nose. As you exhale, arms come up, chin to the chest, rolling up. Again, two options, either till halfway or into your sit bones. 45 degrees, long neck, chin in, chest forward. You're going to hold it here, 30 seconds, and then rolling down, starting from the belt button in. Vertebra by vertebra. Five repetitions, breathing in. Breathing out, chin, chest, shoulders, either all the way up to your sit bones, hold it three, two, one, rolling down, keep pressing the feet into the ground, or other option, just a halfway, still breathing out, reach far with your fingers, hold the contraction, three, two, one, slowly rolling down. Three more times, breathing in, breathing out. Hold it three, two, one. Tucking in the belt, rolling down the spine. Still with the arms in the front. And now to the back. each moment of the move, breathing out, wherever you are, hold it there, three, two, one, better button in, rolling down, stretch your legs and arms, Same sequence, but this time rolling up the arms again, either all the way up 45 degrees, well, button in, lifting the legs up one at a time. Hold it here, three, 
two, one, and then down, down. Don't worry about that. Having some spring allergies. Oh, my nose is stuck. My eyes are itching. I'm still trying to breathe. So okay. The other option is going to the halfway and again the legs up. I roll the three, two, one, and then down and down. Again, five repetitions. Starting with the arms. Breathing in. Breathing out. Whatever you do, press the heels into the ground. Straight back, hold it three. Legs up. Two. One. Down. Down. Belly button in. Stay forward. Stay forward. And slowly rolling down. Breathing in. Breathing out. I'll do the other version. Where you just go to your halfway. Legs up. Up, hold the three, two, one, down, down, strong core, moving first from the center, into the arms, three more, chest up, 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 hold the three, two, one, down, down, Reach forward with your arms. Use your abs to roll back slowly. Last two. Up, up, look up into the sky. Three, two, one, down, down. Bell button in. And slowly rolling down. Last one. Pressing down with the back, reach far with your fingers. Long neck, shooting up to the sky, sit bones into the ground, legs up. Three, two, one, down, down, belly button in, rolling down. And relax your arms and legs away from each other. Keep up with the lower abs. Hands on the side, palms facing down, one leg is stretched up. You're gonna drop the leg all the way to the side, almost into the floor, then forward in front, and back to the center. For four times, and then we reverse. Do this too. Make sure your pelvis is stable, horizontal. The whole time. Three. Opposite leg. Supporting for stability. Press down into the ground with the heel. The last one. Use your abs to bring the leg up. And reverse. Going forward and down. Sideways and center. Moving from the hip. Reach far with your heel. Sideways. Last one. Reach far, far, far with your heel. And leg down. Shake it off. Other side. Same thing. Heel up. Start with sideways. Make sure your supporting leg is not wobbling around. Keep it where it is the whole time. Use your core to support the leg all the way down. And all the way up. Two. Three. Last one. Four. And reverse. Reach forward with your heel. Sideways. Now use your inner thighs. Bring the leg back to the center. Last one. Reach far with your heel. Sideways. 
Use your glutes and inner thighs. Bring back in and relax the legs. Shake it off. Gonna keep going with the combination of glute bridges with two legs. Six repetitions. After six, we hold it on top and we alternate. Left, right, left, right for six times and then see the legs. Lift the leg in the air, down and up. Four, three, two, one, and then other side, same thing. Three times. And then we move on to the crunches. I'll explain that one later. We start with the legs. Move a little bit. Let's see my legs. It's... Toes are up. Press down with your heels. Squeeze the glutes. All the way up. Make sure your lower back is not arching. It's neutral. Reach up down. Rolling down the spine. And up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Last one. Hold it on top. Six. Stretch the leg. Left and right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Left leg up, only with the right. Touch the butt on the floor and up. One. Down and up. Two. Last one. Three. And change. Other side. Down and up. One. Two. And three. Two legs on the ground, fingers behind the head. Five times. Crunches. Breathing out. Hold it here. Three, two, one. Breathing in. Don't touch the floor. And up. Three, two, one. Breathing in. And out. Three, two, one. Two more. Three, two, one. Last one. Breathe out through your mouth as you go up. Three, two, one, hands together, reach up for the ceiling. Little crunches. Breathing out, out, out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fingers behind the head. Five more times, slow. Breathing in, breathing out. Three, two, one, hold the contraction all the way down. Shoulders off the floor. Three, two, one. Chin to the chest. Three, two, one. Last two. Three, two, one. Last one. Three, two, one. Slowly rolling down. And again, arms by the side. Bridges for six, toes up, rolling down, squeeze the bottle top, two, and up, three, four, belly button is in, ribs pressing down, five, last one, six, hold it here, and walking right and left. One, two, three. Make sure you don't drop your hips. Keep them horizontal. Five, six. Left leg is up. And three times, slow. Only with the heel. Pressing up. One, two, three. And changing. Other side. Three times. Three, two, one, and up. Fingers behind your head, breathing in, breathing out. Hold contraction. Three, two, one. Breathing in through the nose, if you can, which I can't. Three, two, one. Nose is stuck. Three, two, one. Neck is relaxed. Last two. Three, 
two, one, last one, three, two, one, hands together, pretty little bumps, breathing out, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last five, breathing in, breathing out, three, two, one, slow tempo, on the way down and up, three, two, one, last three, three, two, one, last one, head and shoulders off the floor, three, two, one, and relax all the way down. Stretch your legs and arms. Take a little moment. Chin to the chest, long neck, no arching on the neck. Breathe out, stomach in. Last four. Last two. Last one. Breathe out. Legs down, big circle, above the head, palms facing up, chin to the chest, shoulders off the floor, reach for your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one, and relax all the way down. Give yourself a hug, knees to the chest, rock it side to side. From here, we're gonna keep going with the hundreds. Again, also here, two options, either with the feet down or up. Whatever you do, make sure you engage from the side of your back, popping down the arms here. Breathing out through your mouth. I'm gonna do it with the legs up. Breathing in, arms on the side. But then in, in, breathing out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. 80, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100, and relax, relax your neck, rock it side to side, stretch it out, alright, last one for the lower abs, here, the palms of your hand under your butt. Again, two options. Either one leg at a time, up and down, or two legs. Dropping down and up. Make sure when you go down that you keep this back of the back pressing into the floor. So if my legs go down and my stomach comes up, Please don't do that. Make sure the back is neutral. Then I prefer you do it with only one leg at a time. Yeah. Slowly, all the way down and up. Breathing in, breathing out. Keep the knees close to you. Or alternate, right and left. Right, left, right, left. Keep pressing the ribs down. Last five. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax the legs. Stretch it out. Reach far with your fingers above the head. And the heels under the ground. Up, 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 up. Down, down, down. Last one before we turn around, finish behind the head. Again, two options, either with one leg down, crisscross, or legs up, side to side. Elbow to the knee, breathing in, breathing out. Stay up and change, other side. Either with the legs up or down. A little bit faster. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Again, give yourself a hug. Repeat that last one. One last time. Either with the feet in the ground or up. Breathing in, breathing out. Crunch. Elbow to the knee. Another side. A little bit faster. For six. Six. Five. Five. Four. Four, three, 
three, two, two, one, one, and relax. Stretch out the legs. One quick stretch before we move on. Cross the right leg on top of the left. And now drop the knees together to the side. And now upper body, look away from the knees. Twist in the spine. And hold it here for about 30 seconds. Very good stretch for your spine. And slowly unfolding the legs. Other side, left leg on top of the right knee. And then drop it to the right side. If you want, you can hold the knees down with one arm and then look away from the spine. Slowly come back to neutral. Alright. We're going to work on the glute all the same. Two options here. Either with one leg on the floor or rising up. We're going to go down and up. Opening up. Shelf for 12 repetitions. Feet together. Again, if you do the first version, make sure your hips don't drop and sink to the back. Always keep straight, straight spine, stomach in. Also with the other one, pressing up. Hips opening up, down, down and up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more, nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve, hold it on top. If you're doing the other version, come up with both. And hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly on the way down. And other side, same thing. So if you're doing the other version, only with one leg on top, last ones, make sure you go all the way up and hold it here. Side crunches. All right. Again, 12 repetitions. Hips up and knee up and down together. Touch the floor and go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Working your abs and your glutes. Two for one. Ten, the last two. Hold it on top for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Leg down and relax and change. Again, other side, slightly different. This time we're going to go uh, side planks with the hips. For eight, after eight, stay up again, either here or arm and leg out, and then five times five, four, elbow to the knee, 
Now last one, hold it up for five seconds. Make sure your elbow is under your shoulder, so you're not too far out, putting pressure, unnecessary pressure on your shoulder. Straight line under your elbow, press the elbow into the ground, place your shoulder in the back, belly button is in, knees together, only the hips up and down for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Four, elbow to the knee. One, two, three, four, five. And hold it five. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Other side. Same thing. Eight, five, five. Belly button in, straight back, long neck, press the knees into the ground, hips go up, one, two, feel the crunches on your abs, on the side, four, five, six, seven, eight, either hold it here or arm and leg together, one, two, three, Four, five, stretch them out, hold that five, four, three, two, one, and relax, good. Facing on all fours, child's pose, hips to the back, arms in front, and relax. Keep breathing, relax the lower back. From this position, head goes through the arms into the front, keep the hands under your shoulders and press the floor away, chest forward. Slowly down, breathing in, breathing out again up. Still here, try to set the belly button in so the stomach is not completely relaxed. Active position, reaching far with your head. Shoulders pressing down, away from the ears. Last time, breathing in. If you can, if you want, a little bit higher with the stretched arms. Reaching far with your fingers. 
elbow to the knee, one, two, three, and arm down, one, two, three, two hands on the floor, knees down, feet up, in front of your knees, make sure the inside of your elbow is facing forward and not to the side. I don't go here, I go to the back. Straight spine, breathing in on the way down, breathing out, press up. One, two, three, push the floor away from you as you go up. Last one. And relax. Child's pose again. Repeat the whole sequence one last time. Coming back. Into your hands and knees. Make sure your lower back is straight and not arching. Press the ribs in, coming is in. Arm and leg away from each other. Elbow to the knee. One, two, three, and arm. One, two, three, and changing. I have a side. Leg it up. Elbow to the knee. One. Two, make sure your hips don't move. Three, and shoulder to your pocket. One, two, three, and modified push-ups. Elbows facing forward, on your knees, feet up. Touching with your forehead in the ground. And up, breathing out, breathing in. Work on those triceps. Three, five, last one, six, all right, and relax, hips to the back, arms in front, Some stretch, I bring my left leg in front, take the right knee on the floor, two hands on your left knee, and then press forward with the hip, diagonally down, feel, feel the front of your hip opening up. Also here, make sure you're not arching on the lower back, everything is neutral. I just shift my whole pelvis forward and down, adding my right arm above the head and sideways. I'm going to walk with my left foot to the outside. I drop the knee in front of me and I sink down into the leg. Arms above the head, relax down, on top of the left leg. Gravity take over. And slowly walk back up. Bring the right leg in front. Keep the left knee bent. And left arm above the right leg. And here, reach far with your fingers. All the way to the wall. You will feel the 
side of your back. And slowly up. Grab your left foot. Place it behind you. And relax all the way back to your elbows. Or if you can, all the way back in your back. Extra stretch, press down the knee and bring your hip forward diagonally up. Feel the feeling again, the front of the hip. Hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax everything. Slowly come into your two legs. I'm going to repeat the whole sequence to the other side with the right leg in the front. And left knee on the ground. Breathe down, belly button in, and shift your pelvis forward and down. Diagonal. And in the arm, to the side. Reach far with your fingers. And back to neutral. Walk with your right foot to the outside of the mat. Drop the knee down. And relax the upper body into the knee. Arms above the head. And try to completely relax. Reach far with your fingers. Three, two, one. Back to neutral. Grab your right foot. Place it behind you. Knees in the front. And relax that upper body to the back as much as you can. Stretch, press down the knee and bring the, your right hip off the floor, diagonally up, three, two, one, and relax everything down, bring the legs together, with the help of your hands, roll into your feet, let the head down and hips up. Relax the shoulders and arm, crossing arms on top of each other. Uh, relax the hands completely. Soft knees, bending, and then rolling up the spine slowly. Work about that vertebra, no rush. And just like we started, shift your weight into your toes, 70% on my toes, 30% on my heels, chin is down, back of the neck is long, reaching up to the sky and heels into the center of the earth, to opposite direction, working away from each other, make yourself tall and long, keep stretching down and up. 
from the center. Imagine someone comes and grabs your neck and pulls it even more up, 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 up. You're growing two, three, four, five centimeters more. And relax, back to the neutral. Alright, shake it off. I hope you enjoyed the class. Make sure you drink enough water after. And uh, yes, have a nice weekend. Enjoy King's Day in a different way this year. Uh, I'll see you again next week, Tuesday at 8 again for Pilates. Stay home, stay safe, stay fit. <laughs>